multicollinearity of Likert scale surveys using smart PLS4. So as you can see here, we have a measurement and structural model. This is a survey. These are the indicators, the observed indicators or the Likert scale items like item one to item four measured from strongly disagree one to strongly agree five or seven. So here you can see these are the factor loadings and these are the latent or unobserved constructs or the uh, mean scores or the overall mean scores. Like performance expectancy consists of four Likert scale items. So all the other uh, variables or we'll call them constructs can consist of different Likert scale items. And we need to check the, what we call uh, outer model uh, multicollinearity and inner model multicollinearity. Outer model, like the relationship between indicators and uh, a latent constructs. And the uh, our inner model, the relationship among those constructs together. You see, so this is a reflective model and we need to test multicollinearity using smart PLS4, but we need to define what multicollinearity is. So suppose that you have to prepare a cake and you have two, uh, let's say, sweet uh, ingredients. We have sugar and honey. Uh, like if you put them together, you don't know which one uh, for example, is uh, the one causing uh, sweetness because they are confusing. Hence, we have multicollinearity. That's why, according to Herr et al. 2022, uh, he says, or rather they say, that uh, multicollinearity could affect the hypothesis testing of the model and hence the validation of your theory against the sample data. To test multicollinearity and interpret it using smart pairs 4, we go to uh, calculate. And then we go to PLSM algorithm and we keep this as default and then click uh, start calculation. So once we started the calculation, as you can see, we have this uh, side menu and here we have collinearity statistics, as you can see, that is the VIF, which stands for variance inflation factor. And as if you see closely here, you have outer model and you have inner model. And for the inner model, we have the matrix and the list uh, display. So both of them are the same, just the display is different. So the outer model, I already explained this, like the relationship of the indicators of the Likert scale items with the uh, latent constructs. And the uh, this is for the outer model. For the inner model here, we have these relationships of the uh, constructs or the composite scores or the summated scores. Then we have the outer model list. You can see that the variance inflation factor here is a green. This means that it's good. As a general uh, rule of thumb, it should be between uh, minus three or and plus three. If it goes beyond that, you see here the color starts changing. Uh, still, it is not a serious issue. Like uh, it should not pass uh, five. Uh, plus minus five. This is as far as the uh, outer model is concerned. Let's now move to the inner model. As you can see this one and or this one more clearly they are the same. So here the variance inflation factor is within the uh, respected range. Hence, we don't have multicollinearity issues. This means that each construct is uh, testing what it is supposed to test and it is not being confused with other similar constructs or in, in, in the research model. And this really uh, validates your theory or theoretical model against the collected data and indica it indicates that the questionnaire and the research questionnaire uh, items, so to speak, that you use to collect data through surveys, um, this, let's say, instrument is really good, so to speak, in calculating or computing or getting uh, quality data. So we can also, uh, export this in Excel and I can just click export and save and then I can open it once it finishes loading. You can see here we can check uh, again a multicollinearity from the display. So we have uh, factor loadings, we have construct reliability and validity and here we have collinearity statistics. So I can just click control and uh, I can just click show. 
And here are the uh, multicollinearity statistics for the outer model alone. And then for the inner model list. So here uh, it is recommended to report this inner model list in case you want to assess your what we call structural model. And this is for the uh, so-called uh, measurement model uh, in addition to uh, validity and reliability. So anyways, uh, this is how you can go about uh, calculating and interpreting uh, variance inflation factor or multicollinearity of questionnaires using Smart PLS4. If you have questions or remarks, do not hesitate to post them below and see you soon.